Third goal of the year for him, Trocek and Marcini. Marcini? Mancini. Mancini, Mancini. First, uh, I'll start again. Alexi Lafreniere, third goal of the year for him, Vincent Trocek, and Marcini picking up the... Mancini. Mancini, okay. Mm -hmm. James Reimer picking up his second goal of the year. Provorov and LeBlanc picking up the assist, making the score. You said James Reimer? <laughs> no, I said James Van Riemsdyk. I heard James Reimer. Okay, I'll do it again. James Van Riemsdyk picking up <laughs> the second goal of the year for him. <laughs> I thought I had to laugh at that for a second. <laughs> James Reimer. James Reimer. I miss you, Optimus Rhyme. I'm thinking about you. Okay. James Van Reems, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's thinking about the wrong former lead. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boys, Frogman Reactions here, back with another video, and today, we're going to be recapping the three games for the Leafs this yep. year. Yep, five, six, and seven. It was highs and lows, and we're going to discuss it all, so let's, let's get, get right into it. it. with the Rangers Saturday night um, and unfortunately we lost this game but first let's, let's go. Alexi Lafreniere picking up the third goal of his uh, campaign Trocek and Mancini picking up the assist making the score one nothing Rangers and then in the going second, second period Chris Kreider extends their lead fourth of the season Zibanej and Smith picking up assists heading into the third and we finally beat Mr. Shosturkin, mm -hmm. finally. The Austin Matthews, second goal of the year for him. Oliver Ekin Larson and Matthew Nyes picking up the assist, making the score 2 1 New York. Then, unfortunately, this is where it goes downhill. Chris Kreider picking up his fifth goal, empty netter. Uh, Zabanajad, uh, Riley Smith picking up the assist, making the score 3 1 New York. Then, our Temi Panarin, sixth goal of the year for him, empty netter. Cooley and um, Miller picking up the assist, making the score 4 1 New York. And the stats were 29 shots on goal for the Rangers. Of course, the Leafs outshot them with 35 shots, over 300 power play for the Leafs, over 2 for the Rangers. 19 hits for the Rangers, 20 for the Leafs, 22 blocks for the Rangers, 11 for the Leafs. Our record is now 3 2 and 0, oh, heading into game 6. So after that game, we expected a much better game. And this was a game. Oh, so it was better, all right. So literally, after the horrendous game that it was against, we got goalied. Anthony Stolarz, in his career so far, with the Toronto Maple Leafs in his season so far, with the Toronto Maple Leafs, and be in mind, he still has a year left with us. Two, he hasn't allowed more than two goals a game. Let's get right into it. You can't count the ones from the Rangers because those were empty netters, which means he wasn't in net, so it so, doesn't affect his say, uh, goals against. So, Willie Nylander, fourth goal of the year for him. Max Domi picking up the assist, making the score one nothing Toronto. Then, Nicholas Paul, second goal of the year for him. Hedman and Chafee picking up the assist. Actually, that is incorrect. It should say Simone Benoit, uh, first of the season, scored on his own damn net because he chased Nick Paul to the net and he fell and knocked it in ruining, his own net. Ruining Stolarz. It Shut literally up. was saved by him and then it just got bounced in by Simone Benoit just like rocketing to the net and then he hits his neck on the post like oh my So 1-1 one, one going into the second period. And this Austin Matthews third of the season on the power play just tapping it home. Meyer Nylander picking up assists. 
And then we continue right after because William Nylander, fifth of the season, leading the least with scoring. Bobby McMahon picking up assists. And then from distance, Patches, baby. Patches. Max Pacioretty, second Big of the patch. season, back in the lineup tonight. Tavares and Timmons picking up assists. And this is the point where Vasilevsky got chased out of the net. You're done for the night. Good Have time. a seat. Have a seat, buddy. It's not Be the Victor. bench warmer for them. Johansson. Putting on the Blue Jays hat or Victor. whatever the MLB hat, Tampa Bay Rays. Putting on the Tampa Bay Rays MLB hat and which sitting his ass on the bench. Don't they have like no stadium to play in right now, I believe? I don't know. Maybe. I don't think so. Then Matthew Nyes lighting it up on Victor Johansson on a breakaway. Second of the season. Marner picking up his sixth Five assist ball. of the season. Third period. We love it. Braden Point, unfortunately getting a goal there on the power play. Third goal of the year for him. Nikita Kucherov and Victor Hedman getting the assist. But that would be it. They would hunker down and that would be it. That would be the story. So Braden Point getting that goal. Doesn't matter. 6-2 or 5-2. 5-2. That's it. It was a beautiful, well-thought game by the Toronto Maple Leafs. 34 shots on goal for the Lightning. 29 for the Leafs. One for six on the power play for the Lightning. They got a 5-1-3 and did nothing with it. One for four on the power play for the Leafs. 20 hits apiece. 14 blocks for the Lightning. 18 for the Leafs. And our record improves to 4 2 0. And at the end of this game, there was a big scrum. All the players on the ice. Tavares getting into it, putting, I don't remember who went a friggin' headlock. Benoit getting into it. McCabe, Wet, Nice, I don't know who was on the ice. And Benoit points, he, he's arguing with the guy, and he goes, What's that? 6 2. 5 2 five scoreboard? Two. Right. Have a nice day. And then this is. And then we go into Columbus thinking, okay, oh. back to back. You know, we have our gyms, but this should be a walk in the park, right? Mm. This is Craig Berube's real task with this team to see if they have changed in their stance. Because after that flawless performance with no criticism whatsoever, just all around from minute one to minute 60. Complete effort, right? They, they, they made you think that they were gonna. This game was gonna be a walk in the park, but of course the and Leafs wear the Toronto Maple Leaf crest on their chest, and they say we gotta be more like the Leafs, guys. They give you the big old finger wag. They say no. Oh. So they, they have to wear the Leafs, and we think it's different this year. We think it's different. No, no, no. no. The Leafs common. say, we're going to decide to be the old Leafs there's, from Sheldon Keefe's Leafs, and we're going to be Sheldon Keefe's Leafs, and we're going to lose this game. There's in the one month. thing in common between Sheldon Keefe and uh, uh, Craig Berube's uh, team from last year versus this year. You want to know what that one thing in common is? Leafs. That's it. First period. James Van Riemsdyk, second oh. goal of the year for him. Former Leaf, of course. It's a free card, a free space in the bingo card. Free parlay. Provorov and LeBlanc picking up the assist, making the score. one nothing Columbus. But okay. they would continue that. Okay. Justin Danforth from Danforth, Ontario. From and... The Danforth in Toronto. First goal of the year for him, Zach Wierenski picking up the assist, making the score 2 nothing Columbus. Then Columbus would continue on because Dennis Hildeby, for the love of God, does not know how to make a save. Oh my God. Matthew Oliver picking up the second goal of the year for him, Danforth again from Danforth in Toronto. Christensen picking up the assist there, making the score 3 nothing Columbus. And you would think that Craig Berube would shove these fucking idiots into their ass just shove their nose in their butts Kill and say, listen guys, whooping. get your head out of your ass and let's go. Let's put a full on 40 minute effort. But no, they come out slow out of the game in the second period. Even worse, second period, Sean Monaghan, third of the season, Marchenko and Rowenski picking up assists. Yeah, okay, 4 nothing. We were like, what is happening? And the hole just gets deeper. Matthew Oliver, third of the season, Aston Reese and Danforth picking up assists. What else is new? It's 5 nothing Columbus. Another Wait form of relief. Wait a minute. Where have we seen this story before? Where have this happened before? So we thought, oh, we thought. I know. It so we thought last season. So we thought we were going to get a nice good comeback. A nice good comeback in our way. Just like Just last because season. the Leafs are the Leafs and they bring you along even though they're down 5 nothing. They make you believe. And that's what's the problem with this Leafs nation. And then, you want to know what happens? 
Matthew Nice. Of course. Matthew Nice. Third goal of the year. Unassisted. 5-1. Going into the third period. So we're even better than we were last time. Where we were down 5 nothing going into the third. So I just thought in the front of my seat, Maybe. let's go. Full Tiger mode. But guess what? Marchenko, Kirill Marchenko, the Leafs killer himself, said, I am your father. And said, you know what? You're not going to complete the comeback tonight. You're not going to go on to win. And we are going to shove this big L into your rectum. <laughs> Literally, into your rectum. We're going to shove a big fist, juicy Columbus Blue Jacket fist into a bee sting and shove it into your maple leaf rectum and crush the hearts of every Leafs fan in this world because Mark Tanko decided to be the goat of all goats and say, I am your father to, to Darth Vader. He Darth vader the Toronto Maple Leafs. And guess what? The Toronto Maple Leafs just sat there and Craig Berube shaking his head. Dennis Hildeby can't make a save to save his life. He's shopping at Walmart, just putting everything in his cart. I want this. I want a goal against me. I want everything to be against me. Nobody knows how to save a defense. Mitch Marner's just somewhere. Minus three points, by the way. That's not going to look good for his contract negotiation. Yeah. Minus three. The guy's just going casually. Nylander's out to lunch. Everybody's out to lunch. The defense doesn't know how to make it. Uh, and leaving the t-shirt of Dennis Hill to be out to dry. Yeah. Leaving Dennis Hill to be out there stranded with two Q-tips. Holding him by the shred on the line. Mm -hmm. Holding little, little things. Pins. Holding him on this line to dry. Literally. And then we did just thought it would be hopeful. I thought this might be it. We might get into it. Five minutes remaining. We can score. And Nicholas guess what? Nicholas Robertson. Nicholas Robertson. First goal of the year for him. Sign of things to come. Tavares and Benoit picking up the assist. And I thought, we're back in it, baby. We're back in it. Because this is the Maple Leafs. And this is a team that knows how to come back when it matters the most. And you know, that would be game. It's actions speak louder than words. And what I noticed from this uh, goal is two things. Number one, when <coughs> Robertson went to the bench to... Uh, fist bump all the players. What does he do? He fist bumps the first two players on the bench and gets on the bench. He doesn't even go down the line to fist bump the whole team. Because he's like, we're done. Let's go home. We don't care. I did that just for whatever. I don't think. He, 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 he didn't even fist bump anyone on the bench except for like two guys. And then the least Twitter, they didn't even, or X I should say, they didn't even post the goal. They always post the goal. They didn't even say Lee scored. They said nada, nothing. You Zilch. want to know what I would like? And the nice goal, they said, Lee has scored. Nice takes the lead, five one. You want to know? You want to know? You want to know what I would love? An apology from Leafs for giving up my hopes and thinking this is a different team because this is the same exact team from last season. We're one. This is the same exact identity where we struggle against teams who suck. We are 1-2-0 and zero in our last three games. We are one loss away from being 4-4. Four and four. Like, really? Are you happy? Are, is anyone happy about this effort? And I swear to God that if John Tavares came out and said, we got to learn a lesson from this. It's a lesson. It's a lesson for us. Buddy, I don't know what type of Alzheimer's you have, but if this is another lesson... You need to go back to school and learn and, you know, take in information better. Because at the end of the day, how many lessons do you need to learn in order for it to click into your brain and say, you know what, I think it's time for us to stop saying we need lessons and start putting it into action. How about that, Maple Leafs? How about this? How about this? Shove your big, juicy apple of a nose into your rectum and say, listen, we need to stop sniffing each other's butts. <laughs> we need to stop sniffing each other's butts. Stop doing the gritty. Stop doing whatever. And yeah, come the on gritty. time. The gritty. Come on time. The game started at 7.30, not 9 o'clock when you decided to show up. Mm -hmm. Listen, mm -hmm. and it was too late by then. So have a, have a little seat. 
have a little seat in your office, sit down and say, you know what? Next time, for the St. Louis Blues, which is our next game, whatever it is. Well, first, I'm going to just say the stats were 38 shots on goal for the Blue Jackets and 28 for the Maple Leafs. Leafs were 0 for 3 in the power play. Blue Jackets were 0 for 4 in the power play. They surrendered too many penalties that also swayed this game. 19 hits for the Jackets, 22 for the Leafs, 14 blocks for the Jackets, 15 for the Leafs, 4, 3, and 0 is our record. Heading into the next game, which is Thursday, October 24th, against the St. Louis Blues. And, and I just want to make sure, I just want to show you an analogy of what the Leafs were. So this is where the Leafs, they were good, they didn't bend, they didn't break. When they were down or when they were up, they didn't bend and they didn't break. But you want to know what they were like in the Columbus game? This. That's what they were like. They shriveled up in a little ball in the fetus position and said, you know what? We're done. We're, we're the same old Leafs. Ha <laughs> ha, we tricked all of you. We're the same old Leafs from last season. Still... That's one lesson they took from Mr. Sheldon Keefe right yeah, there. That's there still that, that's still Sheldon Keefe's team right there. So, so the next one, St. Louis, Saturday. They better come up and rematch. show up that's for Mr. Craig Berube. The Chief is playing against his former team at home. And they're playing their original six first round rivals, the Boston Bruins. On Saturday, Hockey Night in Canada is going to be a big one. I swear to God, if you don't take both of these games, this is what I'm going to do to you. That's what I'm going to do to you. Then if you don't take both of these games, you don't take both of these games, and you don't win both of them, this is what you're going to be. They head out to Winnipeg on Monday uh, at 6.30. Uh, so there's that game. And then they're back home on versus Thursday versus Seattle. Halloween. So... If you're out trick-or-treating, you will not see this game. If you're not trick-or-treating, you can watch the lease. Do leap things. I don't know what they're going to do. Okay. It's Seattle. I think they would want to win, no? Listen, this is what we need to do. We need to put our heads together and come out with a best 60 effort. I swear to God, if we don't come back, and we don't win most of these, you will see a rant video next week. You will see a full-on rant video. I, I literally dismiss most of this. I mean, I wouldn't call this a rant video because we, I, I'm going to dismiss it. I'm going to dismiss it as a hiccup in the road, as the new coach system, you know, just because, just because we didn't, it's a new coach, it's a new system, we're still learning. And I think what we're going to do is I'm going to take the high road on this one. Mm. I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to be yelly, screamy man. I'm going to be yelly, screamy man if next week I'm recapping more losses. And listen, if we lose against St. Louis and we lose against Boston, trust me, you, me, trust you, me, I will have a nice rant video for you next week. If we lose against St. Louis, against Craig Berube's new team, or Craig Berube's old team, that literally dumped them on the side of the road and said, you hitchhike for a new job, buddy. And we picked them out of the dust, out of the trenches, and we decided this guy's going to be our new coach. This is... I'm going to rip you to shreds next week mm. if you don't win against St. Louis. We have three big games coming up next week, so let's get those dubs. Let's get back in the standings here. No time to uh, choke around. It's not, oh, these games don't matter. Every game you truly matters. like it matters, no matter what. So that's been today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you enjoyed this rant. I didn't enjoy it because it was a rant. Why would I enjoy ranting? I, he did more ranting than me. I did more ranting than him. And trust me, you, me. This is just a soft spot on the road. I didn't think I ranted that much. I think I did pretty good. And you know what? I think I'm going to enroll myself into some therapy. Because this leaves seven games trauma the onion. Season. Trauma onion. Trauma onion needs to be unwrapped. I need to go into some therapy for this trauma it's onion. It's still October and already we're back to the norm here in Leaves Nation. Let's go. Come back with a better week next week. Hopefully we're recapping some wins. Maybe that's a good. loss or two, but that's okay. I want more wins than losses. Let's go. Peace. Peace.